in that tournament, but as we see the switch back from Cruncho to Hero, actually. So against Yoshi, perhaps feeling the matchup a little bit more on the PS2. Uh, winner semis, Dynamite approaching the Nairs and these low float, uh, these low landing, rather, up airs just to start these strings. Bear into the shield, but that one into the up smash. Barely out of range of the egg, but the up tilt, easy first stock. That's a zero to death for people keeping track at home. Such great early work from Dynamite. And he's not stopping now. That frizz, no matter. Look at this, hasn't taken any percent yet. That dash attack, putting him at 90% the fair, not gonna spike. But the Nair puts him way off stage. And he just gets right back. Only oh, up smash through the platform. He's taken two entire stocks without taking damage. This is this is a clinic from Dynamite as he finally takes his first percent, 11% from a tilt. But Dynamite looking in the driver's seat fully now. That has to be a massive blow to the confidence for Cruncho. This is a new character, so. That's easy to toss aside if he doesn't manage to bring this all the way back, which I doubt he will, but perhaps by staying back, charging some of these options, you know, you do have a bit of a risk-reward to go for with that down beat. So if you're out of range, which you won't be often against a character like this, good super armor through that bear. And that shield looking very small, but no matter. Puncho throws out this new and dynamite out of range. Forward tilt from Cruncho. Waits out the up smash. Dynamite wanted the fair fight. As if taking two stocks single handedly wasn't enough. Gets right out of the way of that down as well. Good, re good reaction from Cruncho. Dynamite not quite there, but this could still be a three stock. Gets him with the up smash. That will be a three stock from Dynamite. What? How was that? That was clinical. You could tell he wanted that from the very beginning, and after taking two entire stocks without any percent to his own name, I don't think you can play much better than that. Froncho, uh, as we saw on stream earlier, does have a Joker, so I'd be highly surprised if he doesn't go back to it, as we do see right there. But if that first game is any indication, we may be seeing Dynamite and Winners Finals. But before we get ahead of ourselves, we do uh, we do see, and we did see the work that this Joker put in earlier. So, you know, it can bring sets back from 1-0 down. Especially when you have, you know, a lot more carefulness and a lot more matchup knowledge to boot with some of these, you know, any benefits you get from your opponent potentially not knowing the character. Up tilt to up air from Dynamite. Forward tilt from Cruncho as Arsene comes out. Spot dodge and gets him with a nair as well. Or the down air, rather. Down smash. Cruncho may be out of the range, but in the range of an egg on These guns. Back throw. This is already looking so much better for Cruncho as the back air seals him off just sitting on the platform. Tell Dynamite wants one thing, and he has one thing on the mind right now, just that fair. Gets him with another one that won't spike, of course, and he would have been above the stage anyway. But well, well done from Cruncho not to bite. Down throw from Cruncho. Aha bringing his percent above 60. So builds quite a bit of a lead now, and you know, he's just gonna extend it as much as he can. Approaching Bear from Dynamite. Catches him with the egg off stage as well, did have his jump. So returns without too much of an issue. Down B, not the best option. Forward tilt from Cruncho. And the back air from Dynamite on top of the platform. Both of those platforms, you know, they are another additional way of recovering their mix-up. But if you're not careful, and both Dynamite and Cruncho lost their first stock by just sitting and taking refuge on that platform for too long. Cruncho with a back arrow of his own. 
and our Sen should be coming out in just a few moments. For, uh, sorry, that is not correct. So, uh, up tilt from Dynamite this time. Shields the first aerial, but falls victim to that attack sending the Skyward. Good down tilt from Cruncho as we see Sen come out to his aid. Now the forward tilt, no but not too far away. The air dodge gets back to stage, but only just. Uh, down throw from Cruncho. Joker, of course, without too much of anything you would call a kill throw, but Dynamite living to 184%. Yoshi isn't a light character by any means, but he's not a super heavyweight. So the fact that Dynamite's been out of the way of these forward air and other aerial options that would secure the kill and he's been rewarded with a rage-fueled KO. One stop from bringing this to a 2-0 lead in winter semis. Back attack, no, just out of range. Arsen coming up very early, the up tilt will seal it out. One stop apiece, up air. So back air. Approaches with his Nair, perhaps one of the first, not the first time this set, but the first time this game. Good sliding approach, Cruncho just didn't get rewarded for it. And just in the way of that down beat, just after the end lag of that forward tilt, had nowhere to go. Throws out his forward air, uh, forward smash. Kind of randomly. Yeah, up tilt, yep. Send him right, right up, right up to where he didn't want to belong. Kalos has a relatively high blast zone as well, so he, you know, if anything, that's a showcase of how powerful Yoshi's upward moving uh, attacks are. Not only his tilt, but also his aerial up smash. Game three, Dynamite has been, you know, Turning it on at times in this set, and while he hasn't been, you know, dominating throughout all of it, I don't think it's fair to ask him to play much better. Dash attack at that point, not quite sure what he's going for. And Cruncho just going to throw out Niha to push him back right past the ledge. Up tilt to up air to Nair from Dynamite, that'll do it. That'll almost fill the Arsene meter. The Rebellion Gauge is full just a moment right now. And Dynamite is playing a lot more defensively. The up smash through the platform. Although Cruncher protects his own recovery with the egg on. Two eggs being thrown. It's looking like an omelet at this point. He just drifted back far too low. And that's the first mental error from Dynamite we've seen this entire set. Now this is Cruncho's turn to capitalize. Cruncho, interesting choice to just go for the egg roll. Dynamite. I've heard you know a lot of Yoshi players say a good kill of Dynamite with a down B before you know too much of a lead is built up. I've heard a lot of Yoshi players say that that move is the bane of their existence because it gets misinterpreted more than it actually wants. Use it, which you know, fair enough. It's not it's not the best move, but it's certainly a more than viable mix-up. And I, if you're misinputting it, that's one thing. But you know, it, it's a move. It's not. It's not. A, it's not like it's not warlock punch. Come on, man. Gets him with the egg off stage and gets him once more. And no way of getting back for Cruncho after he just got egged twice. And that tongue putting in work for Dynamite. One stock away from a date winner's finals. A Zelda player who I'm fairly sure in you know, that's a matchup that Yoshi would be licking his lips at. Good back air. From Cruncho, and of course, to get there, he'll have to get around this last dock just for too low, and that air dodge not gonna provide the distance he needs. 
only 8% down, so, you know, this isn't a done deal by any means, although it's keeps getting the other things it might be. Good Nair, Crunch of protecting his recovery to the other one. Forward tilt. And throws out two eggs to protect himself once again. The back air on top of the platform. Good Reflector, good Makarakon, or Tetracon. One of the two. Dynamite. Now he just down these like the ledge of the down smash from Cruncho. Almost out. Almost in the range of that back air. That certainly would have killed on Cruncho's part. Gets him with even more damage. That doesn't quite kill, but. Approaching with these bears per to perhaps send him not quite to the blast zone from center stage directly, but putting him off stage and in a position to search for a fair to end it all. Air dodges right back to the stage to avoid getting hit with that forward tilt. That tilt will adjust the shield. He throws out the grappling hook, interesting. Super Armor not going to be providing the justice that he needs. And that back air through the platform, that will do it for Cruncho. He does take game three, so we are not going to see a 3 0 here. Deep in thought. Not quite, you know, the method he wants, but he'll take a victory however it comes. Now here comes the question of what stage you go for as a counter pick. Just chooses to go for Kalos. Now of course, you know, as mentioned earlier, Dynamite can down B through those side platforms. So, you know, Joker Three, two, probably getting one, rid of a few go. of his um a few of his recovery options in exchange for perhaps his stronger neutral and a stage without any sort of center platform. Starting off with an approaching up tilt from Dynamite. Haven't been seeing that too much. You just see him down through the platform there. Back airs. Picking over himself with a couple of guns. Now we see some attempted starts of up air strings. Punch open an air dodge before he can even get those started. Good drag down up air. To forward air. Arsene meter. Almost full. Just rolls away from the over there. And now we use the egg on almost immediately. Gets him off stage with the egg is rolling his tongue. Ford smash. Wow, that was such a well, well timed mix up. That was just out of nowhere. That wasn't. You know, Cruncho wasn't in any particular state of disadvantage, but all of a sudden he just was. And Dynamite will be rewarded for that gung ho maneuver with a stock lead. Uh, connects with the last hit of down air, and that will be enough for him to start with a no. Well, it was enough to start, but it wasn't enough to get anything going, and Cruncho kills with the egg on, interestingly enough. Almost got a fair spike. Joker's reflector counter sees to it that that won't happen. Bears spikes through the platform and up smash, not quite, but that's still more damage on the board. Approaching there. Jumps over a couple of the eggs. Doesn't rebel guard as much of the eggs in this matchup. Interesting. You could. Uh, you could do it if Dynamite is becoming over-reliant on these, but that's been the first time we've seen it in response to the eggs. It's been mostly in the back pocket or just in response to attacks thus far. Melee attacks, I would say. Spot dodges out of the way of that, but that forward air almost going to do it. Returns back to stage with the egg and the dash attack. Uh, the Rebellion Gauge, once again, almost full. So Cruncher is going to opt to play 
defensively, but not defensively enough as the up air catches him sleeping on the platform. Cruncho back in that same disadvantage position he found himself in earlier. Dynamite out of a jump, but manages to make it back with the air dodge. Up smash. Puts on about 31%. Already, the Rebellion Gauge almost full again. So now Dynamite looking to put the cap on what has been an impressive performance thus far. You know, never mind for a bit of a disappointing ending. And speaking of disappoint, Oh, no, he does make it back. Wow, that directional air dodge could have spelled the end for him. But does with cover from the up tilt. And Cruncho with our Sen active. More than enough to kill. Approaching guns from above. A good sliding attack from Cruncho. Now we just see this percent flying upwards from both characters. Interesting. I thought that would have traded for a moment, but Dynamite maintains stage control. Uh, dash attack right out of Cruncho's range, and he'll eat a small punish for it. Gets him in the AHA as well, and now Cruncho has a percent lead, even if very slight. Hit one of up tilt. And now Dynamite wants some of these fares. They aren't in a position, perhaps, where he could get an up smash through the platform, but gets him with the egg and almost gets the fare off of it. Good safe return from Cruncho. Reads the roll as well, but doesn't find anything for Tilt. Gets it back with the egg throw. There's more. Backer from Dynamite is going to send Cruncho to the corner with almost precision perfect the eye. Dash attack. Cruncho, the back throw, no. But the egg on almost dynamite in dire straits here. And the up air. Wow, the falling up air from dynamite. That'll do it. And the fair won't do it. Some of these nair chases and these tilts, these combos he was looking for, no. But just one randomly thrown out up air while falling manages to catch him. And an unfortunate.